Well, let's get it started. Welcome to Big Braids and Crypto. I'm your host, Mr. Big Braids, coming to you live from a reservation somewhere. Taking a look at ASM and a few other coins to uh, get this night started. Take a look at ASM. ASM's coming at 0.0551. Amazing price action. Still above that support. Right at the 0.0551 here. Just above the 618. Hey, holding pretty good. Got a little bit of glimmer of hope there. Uh, we got BTC came down to, uh, let's take a look at where we're at. We're at 44683. 44709 could possibly be getting that bounce to the upside. And we're going to find out how bullish BTC really is tonight. Uh, could see some lower price action. Could see some, uh, <laughs> some movement to the upside. So, uh, definitely exciting night. Uh, <laughs> definitely an exciting night as far as BTC. So we definitely got to keep an eye on that price action. Uh, as far as ASM getting some bullish action up to the upside, we definitely got to get back over this 0.0576, grab some support and consolidation, make her up to this 0.0608. And as far as get some extremely bullish action and moves to the upside, we got to get back over that 0.0659, grab some support and consolidation, start making that next leg up. Uh, so that would be the extremely bullish, uh, amazing scenario. Uh, fingers crossed that we got some action like that going, especially with uh, you know BTC getting a little bit of little bit of a pullback to 44.716 where we're sitting at now so uh, if we do get some more tp action we definitely got to keep an eye on that support at the uh, 0.0551 if we lose that support definitely gonna have some consolidation down to the 618 at 0.0525 and if we lose that support there uh, definitely coming back down to the 76 at 0.0489 if we lose that support there uh, definitely next chance is at the 0.0443 uh, possibly get some sideways action above the 786 uh, especially with deep btc getting uh, you know it's a little bit of dippy action but uh, you know still got some bullish news out there a lot of people there's about 50, 50 it's about 50 50 right now with the uh, bullish and uh, bearish at the moment so you know, we do still got a lot of stuff going on in the news today we still got uh russia and ukraine going on we got a little bit of covid action we got people getting slapped <laughs> there's a lot of stuff going on in the world today we got tornadoes we got solar flares we got uh northern lights going on we got a lot of stuff going on in the world today <laughs> so keep an eye on that stuff that, that, that definitely can affect the market so uh, keep an eye on that price action as well <laughs> and keep an eye on BTC, definitely keep an eye on the news, and uh, you know, definitely excited to see where we're going in the evening. Got the coffee, coffee on. <laughs> Already worked on about half a cup now, so I'm out here lurking around, searching for some amazing price action. Still getting that accumulation out here, looking for some lower price action. So I got my reserves ready to get some lower price action as well. Uh, so <laughs> keep an eye on that price action. We'll do a follow-up video tomorrow and see where we're at. Uh, moving on up to MDT. MDT coming out at 0.0599. Still trying to creep it up to the upside. Didn't really get affected with the BC, BTC dippy action. Uh, still looks like it's still trying to get ready to make some movement to the upside. But a uh, bit of creepy crawly going on up here. And when I start seeing this action, I start like, thinking about capitulation. But, uh, you know, a lot of stuff's just creeping up to the upside. Creeping through those, uh, <laughs> those resistances. And then continuing to carry on to the upside. So... Uh, definitely excited to see where we're going. Uh, we definitely got to keep an eye on the support at 0.0497. Uh, you know, it's, it's still a long ways from 0.0599 coming in at some amazing price action. Uh, MDT was making some moves and, uh, you know, definitely excited to see where we're going. Uh, could possibly just be getting this sideways action with BTC being so undecided. Uh, you know, until the market starts getting that uh, push to the upside, could possibly just get some sideways action underneath the 786. If we do start making some bullish moves to the upside, we got to get back over that 786 at 0.0776. Grab some support and consolidation, make her up to the 618 at 0.0995. And as far as get some extremely bullish action moves to the upside, we're gonna get back get back over that 0 0.1302. Grab some support and consolidation, make our way up to this 0 0.1799. <laughs> Grab some good strong support and consolidation and make our moves to the upside. So that would be the awesome, amazing bullish scenario with BTC being so undecided. Uh, could possibly get some sideways action, could possibly come back down and test this support at 0 0.0497. So if we do lose that support there, definitely out here looking for some lower price action. Uh, so still coming in at amazing price action right now, that 0.0599. Uh, you know, I'm definitely out here looking for some <laughs> lower price 
accumulation, but you know, could be just wishful thinking at this point. But definitely excited to see where we're going. Uh, so we'll do some follow up video. We'll do a follow up video on, on MDT tomorrow and see where we're at. So everybody in MDT, good luck. Moving on up to COV. COV coming at point oh four two nine. Can we possibly be coming down to test that support? That support at point oh four oh four. It's actually been holding pretty well. I was out here lurking for this lower price action for quite some time. This sub four cent haven't quite got it. It could still be on the table. I'm definitely out here lurking for that price action. Uh, definitely excited to see where we're going with COV. Could possibly be setting up with this sideways action with BTC being so undecided. And then once we get a good correction to the upside, uh, we could start seeing some movement to the upside as well. Uh, so definitely excited to see what we're doing with COV. As far as getting some bullish moves to the upside uh, and decent recovery, we definitely could get back up to the, over that uh, 76 at 0 0.0896, grab some support consolidation, make her up to the 618 at 0.1282. And as far as getting some extremely bullish moves to, to the upside, we definitely could get back over that 0.1824, grab some support consolidation, make her up to this 0 0.2702, grab some uh, support consolidation, start working on that next move up. So that would be the awesome, amazing bullish scenario with BTC being so undecided. Could possibly be setting up with the scenario here. And if we do get some dippy action, keep an eye on that, uh, that uh, <laughs> the support at 0 0.040. For if we do lose that sport, definitely could be in that how low can you go scenario. So keep an eye on that price action, keep an eye on BTC, keep an eye on the news, and we'll do a follow up video tomorrow and see where we're at. Moving on up to Jasmine. Jasmine coming in at 0.0335. I uh, tried to make some moves to the upside today. Still hanging around up over that 0.0335. I'm uh, definitely excited to see where we're going. A lot of people have some bullish news on Jasmine. I've been definitely, <laughs> definitely lurking around to see if, uh, you know, everybody's right about that action or whatnot. Uh, you know, a few posts on Jasmine talking about how they just incorporated a few uh, <laughs> a few modifications into the, uh, I don't know, how, how would you pronounce it, the Vayu computers? But uh, you know, definitely, I, I, I'm going to believe it when I see it, but, you know, definitely holding strong above that 0.618. Jasmine doing some amazing stuff out there. Uh, you know, I see a lot of a lot of good stuff coming around from a lot of the projects there that they're throwing out that. So there's a lot of FUD out there. So I'm definitely loving that FUD action and getting that accumulation on all the projects out here that's got that FUD going. Uh, definitely loving that accumulation and, uh, you know, loving that uh, that lower price action. As far as Jasmine going, coming at 0.0335, uh, right here above the 618, could be possibly setting up just like B. DC, we're at that point right here to where we could possibly see some lower price action or get a good bounce and start getting some bullish action to the upside. So if you take a look at that little pennant there, I mean, it's got a lot of possibilities at this point. So I'm definitely excited to see where we're going. We could possibly get that bounce to the upside. If we do lose that support, start consolidating down to the downside of the 786. Uh, we definitely got to keep an eye on that support at 0 0.0299. And if we do lose that support there, we're definitely going to see some lower price action. So keep an eye on those supports there at the 618 at 0 0.0337. And uh, <laughs> keep an eye on that support at the 786 at 0.0299. If we do start making some moves to the upside, we got to get back over that 0.0381, grab some support consolidation, make it up to this 0.0411. And as far as getting some extremely bullish action moves to the upside, we got to get back over that 0.0459, make our way up to that 0.0506, and start getting that next leg up. So keep an eye on that price action. Uh, definitely excited to see where we're going. Uh, as far as Jasmine, I know there's there's a lot of people talking about the, you know the first of the month, a lot of action coming up with Jasmine on the first of the month, few laws being changed out there so uh definitely definitely excited to see if that's gonna you know definitely help jasmine in the market got a few listings on a you know couple coins out there so jasmine's one of them keep an eye on that price action and uh you know for everybody and all the coins we talked about tonight uh good luck and you always gotta remember this is not financial advice these are my views and opinions on the market only and you always gotta do what's right for you so you also have a good after good afternoon good evening good morning good night mr big braids is signing out